I'm Megan and that's Matt. Recently we sold our van and packed up our lives into bags and boarded a one-way flight to Barcelona. From now on we will be living and traveling full-time with Europe being the first destination abroad. How long is this lifestyle gonna last? I guess you're gonna have to subscribe and follow along to find out. After two weeks exploring major cities we are so excited to get out into nature so we hope you enjoyed this video of Almeria. <laughs> We finally made it to Andalusia and we are here in Almeria and this is our first time on the beach since we've been in Spain. never ever seen clouds like this. This is an insane sunset. This is actually the first sunset we've really seen since we've been in Spain and oh my god. I've seen a lot of sunsets while we've been traveling in our van and out exploring but I've never seen the clouds kind of circulate like this. It's amazing. This is absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to show you the rest of Almeria. And if there's one thing you should know before coming to Spain is on the weekends, nothing really opens till 9. It's about 8.30 right now. We do have to go pick up our rental car for exploring for the day. Nothing's open and it's kind of wild to see how empty these streets are because considering every other time, every other day that I've been here, there's been a lot of people out. I've got a bit of a walk to get to the one open coffee shop in this entire walkable area. Uh, por favor, dos uh, café con leches. Gracias. Honestly, this is the first time since we've been in Spain that I've actually been able to find like big American-sized coffees. Most of the times they do the little smaller cups or just little tiny little espresso drinks. It's so weird being out here early, which honestly isn't even that early relatively, but there is nobody on the streets. Baby, coffee. Thank you. Mmm, necesita. It's gonna be hot in the desert. All right, we're off to go get a taxi. We gotta go pick up our rental car. We're only about 30 minutes behind schedule, so by our standards, we're okay. Hola. Oh. About $20 US. Let's go pick up our rental car. Even though it's been nice doing public transportation, it's gonna be really nice having a car because we can go to remote locations like this desert. This is our first time booking with Hertz and we actually have presidential status with them automatically because we have the Capital One Venture X credit card. Since this is the first time booking a car with them, we have to sign in, but anytime after they just explained, we're just gonna be able to grab our keys and go. Credit card hacking is pretty sick. All right, let's go. Let's figure out this car situation. The first thing we always do when we get a rental car is check all the blemishes and they gave us a chart of where they have marked. We need to double check that and to make sure we take pictures and videos and everything just to save our butts. And then doing my own due diligence, making sure there's nothing else wrong with it. So the last thing I want to do is pay for somebody else's car. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Tengo hambre. Do you know what that means? No. That means I'm hungry. Si. I think we are good. You gotta figure out how to drive in Spanish. I think it's, um, correr. That might be run. We're in the land of the kilometers. Thankfully, I have some experience in Canada with it, so I don't think it'll be any problems.
time for lunch, time for a hike. This looks delicious. Thank you, baby. All right, we are about to start the Ruta Circular de Western Leon hike, and it's about 5.4 miles, and it should take us about probably two and a half, three hours. It's a beautiful day here. We're in the Tabernas Desert, and this is actually where they filmed a ton of Western movies back in the old days. Lawrence of Arabia, I think some Indiana Jones movies, there's been scenes from Game of Thrones, and many, many more. We're gonna start the hike and see what it's all about. I don't know why I clapped. <laughs> Let's just get walking. It is so surreal being here. We have not had real fresh air <laughs> in a long time. Not gonna lie, it's been a while since we've hiked. This is truly beautiful. It's so breezy, but the sun is really hot. Kind of reminds me of Texas. <laughs> it definitely makes sense it's called Texas Hollywood because it looks just like Texas. This is really cool. Look at this little door. <laughs> This clearly was not a house for tall people. It's so amazing that it's just built into the side of the rock. It's cool to be in the desert again. It's been a really long time since we were like in the desert desert. And it gives me back to the good old memories of exploring the US in our van. But this is probably cooler because we're in another country. Right now we're standing at not standing very good, huh? <laughs> it's not an easy hike whatsoever. It's definitely a little challenging. We are right now standing in what used to be a river. It is completely dry now. I definitely never thought that Spain would have a desert like this. It's so quiet too, which is nice because all we've been doing is hanging out in cities and fresh air. No one's smoking right behind you while you're having dinner. It's just mwah, beautiful. One reason I absolutely love the desert is that it's just so still and so quiet. Right now, there's just a gentle breeze rolling through this canyon and we're just having the freaking time of our lives here. Who would have thought that Spain has such a beautiful desert? Who would have thought that Spain has Europe's only desert? Honestly, not me. It's so weird because the Mediterranean is just like 25 miles that way, but it feels so much more dry in this desert. Like, I, can, I need chapstick, I need like way more water. But I'm excited because tomorrow we're gonna head over to the Mediterranean and do some water things. So this video is gonna be full of different terrain. You got desert, you got city, you got water. It's gonna be awesome. Almeria just has it all. eight clouds in the sky and they are all over there and the sun is over here so they're useless clouds midday hiking in the desert as you could imagine quite hot but i have to say the breeze is nice it's like we never learn we never learn i think we've learned have we though nope <laughs> It's cool to see all the terrains change as we've been going through this hike. We've been on the tops, on the plateaus, and now we're back into the canyon and then we're seeing mountains everywhere. It's just all around a very beautiful, very hot, very exposed hike. You could absolutely get so sandy on this wall. You want to find out? It's probably like a V4, maybe like a V5. Shade! Spider! Honestly, every time we've sat down to take a break, we've seen a spider. This one's the biggest I've seen yet. In this area, there are a lot of black widows. There are also scorpions, so there's that. We're risk takers. We've encountered many a, 
uh, rattlesnakes, and we fought them off with gunction. We survived. I ate a scorpion once. Finally, some shade. Oh my gosh. We definitely got out here so late and it's like high noon. There's no clouds. <laughs> By the way, for the month of April, we are actually doing a walking challenge. For every mile each of us walks, we are donating $1 to One Tree Planted and we're gonna plant one tree per dollar per mile. It's gonna be crazy. So by the end of this month, I don't know, we're gonna like, plant a forest. And we're happy that you guys are joining us on this challenge by cheering us on, watching us, and commenting below. How many miles do you guys think we're gonna walk by the end of this month? We've made it to a desert oasis. There's palm trees, this is freaking hot. The breeze is nice, the sun is hot, and we're running out of water. Wow, it is so nice out here. I honestly am so happy that we grabbed this car and we were able to drive out here because we were kind of missing some remote life, we were missing some nature because in the cities, you kind of just are around people all the time. Nature is really where we thrive and we love it out here. It's such a nice day, even though the sun is really beaming on us, the breeze is really nice. So this has been an incredible hike. I'm really stoked that we came out here. There's so many things that you can do in Almeria, but there's even more things that you can do in the immediate surrounding area. So once we get back to the car, we're gonna go back to the city to our hotel and regroup and figure out where we're off to next. My body's like, you're supposed to be napping. Megan, what are you doing climbing stairs? Just a little update on the sunburn front. We're still a little burnty, but we did replace our, what was supposed to be a beach day with an exploration day at the park. So hopefully tomorrow will be the beach day, but for today, we have a lot of things that we wanna see at Cabo de Gata. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen anything so beautiful. I say that all the time, but I feel like everything's just beautiful. Like this is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh. A little further. Did I get it? No, try to get the... Um... I can't see, so... I know. Yay! <laughs> How did you do that? It just flew off my head. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. These cliffs are named after the fact that when sailors would be out on sea, they would come to these cliffs and then see the monk seals and mistake them for women. So that's how you get mermaids. The mermaids to them were like the sirens calling them to shore. This is insanely cool. Blue is so different than any other blue. 
During certain seasons, we can take a kayak out there. We are trying to inquire if we can do it this time around and possibly do it tomorrow, but I don't see any kayaks out there, so not sure if this is the season to go. Just wow. It's amazing. They look like hands just sticking up out of the water. There are so many great places to visit in Spain, but a lot of them are filled with tourists. And the fact that we're here in the most popular thing to do in Amaria, and I think I see five people right now, that's incredibly cool. I don't know if it's the wind or the emotions, but man, I'm tearing up. Oh my God. Wow, this is the spot. This is definitely the spot. We're not kayaking that. No, 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 no way. Yeah, that water would wreck us. <laughs> this is really one of the bluest waters I've ever seen. I've seen blue Caribbean waters and blue waters in Mexico, but this Mediterranean Sea deep turquoise blue is really just blowing everything else out of the water, pun intended. We're about three weeks into our Spain trip and this is our first time really getting to hang out on the Mediterranean and I cannot wait to see more of it. Amaria is such a hidden gem. I'm so happy that we're here and we're able to witness this. We've been in the cities a lot and not that I don't love people, but when you're with people all the time, after spending so much time in a van and out in the wilderness by yourself, it's kind of nice to go out into nature and really appreciate land. We love to come here and we were like, let's just go for like an hour or two. No big deal, very leisure day. And it always turns out to be a bigger adventure than we realized. <laughs> So we just can't help ourselves. Even if we plan to go out for like two hours, it always ends up being like five. Definitely in a local hole in the wall kind of place. Mm. This is Mohama, which is salt cured tuna and. Mm. I like that. I could not imagine taking the van down these streets. No. There's no room on anything. That was our first time stepping into the Mediterranean. It was cold, but honestly, it's so gorgeous. You can see right to the bottom. When we first got here, I was wondering, why is nobody swimming? Is it not safe to swim here or something? Then I just realized it's way too freaking cold. <laughs> Even though we polar plunged in Alaska all last summer, that doesn't mean I necessarily want to do that here. So I think we can wait for the temps to warm up a little bit and we'll definitely be swimming very soon.
on gas. Let's go. So you're probably wondering why these two hoodlums are just ordering agua con gas to go. <laughs> and five of them. <laughs> it's like an odd number too. Basically, we're on a mattress run with Marriott and since we have platinum status, we get a credit at the restaurant and so we order water. This stuff is the boss. The waiter already knows our order because we come up and he's like, agua con gas and we're like, see, sí, see, sí, agua con gas. We're gonna show you the number one thing to do in Almeria when you're here in the city. Let's head over to the Akazaba. This is the Akazaba de Almeria. Sorry, your hair is wild. <laughs> <laughs> we are staying at a hotel that's right next to it, so let's go check it out and go inside. All right, so it turns out it's free to get in. Who would have known? Let's go. This Alcabaza is set to a few movies, including Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade, Wonder Woman of 1984, and one scene from the Game of Thrones from season six. You may think that we're actually in Almeria, but we're actually in Dorne. I didn't realize there's a whole garden up here and it's spring, so it's just beautiful up here. And you get so many good views of the city of Almeria and the Mediterranean. Even though the temperature's not too, too hot with the sun blaring down almost all day long, it's pretty nice to get that little bit of breeze. Also, the breeze is so strong, I'm crying. It's kind of weird to see the city that you've been hanging out in for the last week just from up top. It's kind of cool. I will never not be amazed at how old these buildings and these structures are and how they're still standing today. That kind of blows my mind. Look. Way, 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 way over there at the top where the mountains end. I think that's the lighthouse that we were at last night. I honestly think that Almeria is one of the true hidden gems of Spain. I know there are a lot of hidden gems and a lot of great places in Spain, but this one has to be our favorite so far. Just when you thought the fort tour is over, it just keeps going. There's a second, second level. This is the garden where they did the one scene from Game of Thrones where Lady Olena came to the Sand Snakes and Eliana to coo with them. And I'm gonna recreate it for you right now. This is where Lady Olena sit and she was like, you girl, shut up. You girl, shut up. You girl, shut up. Let the grown women talk. And Eliana was over here and she was like, we need vengeance. Basically, she's the only one left. So she's like, I guess. Then, at the end, this is where Varys comes out and he's like, fire and blood. And then there was war and then they all died, except Cersei. Actually, she died. Who lived? These aren't spoiler alerts, it's literally one scene in a big franchise that everyone's obsessed with. So if you haven't seen it, you'll probably never see it. It's just so old and ancient. And the amount of things that's happened here, a thousand years, Wow, all the way up to the third level, this is the view of the city you cannot miss. What we've realized in Europe is if you want to do anything cool, you kind of have to pay for it. So it's kind of nice to come here. We were prepared to pay some money to get in, but it's just been really nice to not have to. Guys, if you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember, we are not a history channel. We're just showing you our travels around Spain. So we have another month in Spain. We'll see you in the next one.